I buy figures, and I think it's fucking absurd that a figure that cost almost $400 is arriving broken. I know someone is probably going to be like, well, Sal, do you even buy figures? Do you, How many do you have? I'm going to grab some of the figures that I have, and I want to walk through them really quick. We'll start at the cheapest, and we'll go up in price. This is the Heidel and Zodiac statue. So spoilers, obviously. It is four. It is three hundred and sixty dollars. I believe it's. Hold on, where is it? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. it is like ten inches tall. It's very large. It's a decent sized figure for people that buy figures, especially people that buy figures that are expensive. And by expensive, let's say let's set a bar, one hundred and fifty plus. We'll go cheaper actually. Let's say a hundred plus. Because you can get decent anime figures for like 80 bucks. Uh, let's say 100 plus though. Normally, big things like these wings on the backs of a figure, anything that floats around, like the little disc behind Heidelin, her sword. Normally, those things are detachable. And the reason you can take them off is because shipping is a very rough process on parcels. And... Perhaps you wouldn't want your figure to arrive broken. Square Enix didn't do that. This $360 figure comes fully assembled. And because it comes fully assembled, you get this result where things are just breaking off. So here's someone who received theirs on Reddit where Zodiac's wings just shattered. They're not attached. They have actually broken. This is not a fixable thing. They actually came off. This isn't the only person that's having this problem though, where the figure is coming damaged. I have three other people from the subreddit that I, I found that had their figures arrive completely busted. And I've seen more and more talk about it across like GameFAQs and a, a few other forums. This is apparently the packaging material that was in the box to protect it. That's not enough for a figure as someone who buys figures because i i know someone is probably going to be like well sell do you even buy figures do you how many do you have i'm going to grab some of the figures that i have and i want to walk through them really quick we'll start at the cheapest and we'll go up in price so these are monster hunter blind bag figures this is uh rathalos hopefully this is this is like visible on screen this is Rathalos. So this is Rathalos. Now, the cool thing about Rathalos, because shipping is so rough, his wings come off. Both of them. And not only his wings, his legs come off. If I put Rathalos back together on such a cheap figure, the seams kind of disappear. I don't know if this will focus. The seams kind of disappear, and it's hard to tell that there's a seam when you're just looking at the figure. I don't know why they couldn't do this on the Heidelin figures and the Zodiac figure. Like this is a cheap $20 figure. The other blind bag I have is Val Hazak, but his wings also come apart. Anything that could break on these guys is detachable and removable. And when they're together, I don't think you're going to notice that there's a there's there's a seam on these things. So if anybody's going to make the argument of, well, whenever you have a nice looking figure, you don't want seams. OK, let's go up in price a little bit real quick. If anybody's curious what my hand tracker looks like. Here you go. <laughs> Here's a I think this was twenty five, thirty five dollars. It is a Hatsune Miku Sakura figure. Man, the lighting's really blown out on this. Anyway, big hair big possibly breakable hair is is on this figure very breakable hair it comes off the the miku wow this light above me is very bright on this figure in particular but it comes off and this is like a 30 dollar figure this is not an expensive figure this is very cheap i bought it because it was cheap and i i like this version of Miku. I thought it was cute. I find it absurd again that this is all the packaging that is in this and this is what people are getting.
But if we go up in price again, this one was, I believe, like $40 or $35. It's a Mega Meme figure. And nothing's really detachable on it. But the hat comes off and obviously the staff comes off because what if the staff breaks? If the staff breaks, you're kind of out of luck. And if you if the staff breaks in her hand, you're also out of luck because this is a big, heavy piece that could pull off the hand. So it's glued from the factory onto the arm, but this is separate. If we go up to like $150, this comes off you can see that it it moves this actually comes off of the base it was separate so the legs don't get damaged and the shell packaging encased encased everything for this the tail had its own little safe area the the hairs here had had their own little safe area everything was protected and if we want to go up to a more expensive figure that had no parts removable because of seams this one was i think like 200 something and it's very detailed it has a lot of flourish to it all of these parts could easily snap off this one's covering my face tracker so the model's gonna freeze on this one this one was very large but it was packaged well i don't know what's going on with the packaging of this that people are having the wings snap off. And it's not just this guy. Here's another user whose wings also snapped off. And Heidelin's missing one of her, her head horn things. And part of Zodiac's feathers on the very edge of the wing just shattered off. And another portion of the wing, gone. There's the other side of Heidelin's like headpiece. And there's the piece of the feathers that came off. It's not just that they're shattering. There are people receiving these and the base literally has detached from the figure. Why is it glued into the base from the factory? Why is it not packaged so that the base is separate from the figure itself? Every one of these figures that I have, the base is a separate item that I had to put on. I could, I, it didn't just come with the base. E every figure I have is like, even the cheap ones and even the more expensive ones. I, I have another expensive one right here that I had to put the base on for this one. The base just didn't come attached and little things like the arm come off because they might break. I, I don't, I don't get it. I do not understand the, the problem Square is having, but this is unacceptable that, that people are getting these figures that are almost $400. And they're shattering. Here's another person from the subreddit. I don't know what's going on with their desk. This this is not my desk, I promise. But another person whose wing has just fallen off of their Heidelin statue. I have ordered, not counting the figures that I just have on my desk right now. I have one, two, three. I think I have five other ones in my cabinet. I've never received a broken figure. I've ordered all of them from Tokyo Otaku mode. They all come in a giant box and they all have ample packaging. And the boxes the figures come in Jesus, are also suitable. Hundred dollars. I hope there's a refund policy. Apparently they replaced them. Apparently they replaced the figures, right? And you get it. You do get a second code, so you end up with two of the the emote codes or whatever that the figure comes with. But it's still ridiculous. That should not be happening. I'm sorry. It's absurd. That should not be happening. Not for that price. You can afford some pay. You're Square Enix. You run FF14. Are you insane? Like they can afford packaging. You know what? Here, for anyone like curious of how a, a figure like this, this is a $200 figure. Th this is this is not a cheap figure. This is a very nice hollow figure. This is from Spice and Wolf. If someone's curious, let me get the box real quick. I'll before I show the, the big chonker box, before I before I show you guys that one, $20 figure, or $30 figure, just, here's the box that she came in. Very small box, not too big. Again, the hair comes off so that things do not break. The figure that does not have detachable parts, that is $200. It literally doesn't fit on my desk. It is too big. <laughs> It, it, it takes up almost all of my camera space on my desk. 
It is a huge box, but the box is there to allow this to arrive safely because there is, there's no support beam on this. It is her leg. Her leg is the support for the base. I'd absolutely love to get a $200 anime figure. Uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode. That's where I've ordered all of mine. I've never had anything arrive damaged. There's always more packaging than there probably needs to be. Super good company to work with. Their membership program is actually, I'm not sponsored by the way. Their membership program is actually pretty crazy. Uh, you get, essentially you get their version of cash back on figures when you buy them. And uh, I, I'll say this, for every $150 figure you get, you will probably, if you have just signed up, A, you're gonna get off the top on your first sign up, uh, probably like 50 bucks off the figure, somewhere around there, which is insane already. And you're also probably gonna get, if you buy $300 worth of figures, you'll probably get enough cash back to buy like a 60 or $40 anime figure. Uh, it depends on the figure, because some of them do have better Tom Point rewards than others. But Tokyo Otaku Mode's really good. Really like their site. I will say shipping does take a while because you're ordering figures that are either not made yet or have been made. Like I ordered this one and this took about a year and a half to get to my house, I believe. I ordered this like on the night it was announced. And I think it, it took about 16 months to get to my house. I think it was this one. There was, it might not be this one. It might be another one that I ordered. I think it's absurd that these figures are breaking. I don't, I don't get it. it it's crazy. It shouldn't be happening. As someone who buys figures, I, 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 I had no desire to order this thing. I, I saw these, I saw how low quality some of the past ones were, and I saw how low quality Heidelin's face was on the prototype. And yeah, I'm not really really you're not gonna let me zoom in I, I had no interest in this not at this price point either, even i feel like video game figures are always such an afterthought and they're always so half-assed that it's not worth the time to even attempt to get them because when you get them you you get you get this you get this where this is the packaging of ramen that this person ordered and this is the packaging in a 360 dollar figure how lazy and uncaring is the effort to provide this statue? That this is the packaging. I don't even see the figures I order whenever I open them up. I have to dig through like two layers of paper and bubble wrap. Because the way Tom packages theirs, it is the box is wrapped in bubble wrap. And then the bubble wrap is surrounded by paper like this. But it's a lot of paper like this. I want to figure, but it should be better quality. Yeah. We have yet to get a good FF14 figure. <laughs>